So now that we've done the map in um, pencil on a different sheet of paper, I'm going to go ahead and do it in ink using my same sort of story and ways to remember things so that you can see it more clearly. And these are, um, this is just traced from the actual map so that everything is exactly in the right spot. Unlike mine that's just roughly in the right spot. So first we're going to do exactly like last time. We're going to um, make the basic shape of the United States and then fill in the states. So as I said, um, I like to start in this corner and you can just put in Seattle right there. And it's nice because it sort of like just takes up that corner almost like a square. Um, and then I do the parallel 48 coming across here. And remember we come and we stop at 90. And that's where our Great Lakes are going to be. Then remember I like to come one, two down and there's Texas. So Texas we make a little hump in that corner. And then we come down and make the big hook. And then remember we cut across along the parallel 30 all the way to Florida. So Texas is in this square. Florida's going to stick down in this square. And then remember I said we cut off this corner, travel up um, Highway 75, which is not labeled, um, but we're, that's where it gets all detailed and then it cuts across. See, um, so if we were doing this on my map, I would make this just straight up and then straight across and then fill in these details later. Um, so for now, we'll just leave that blank and go over here to our west coast and remember we're going to come up here and it's going to meander through the bottom of this square and then it's going to cut up and meet our Seattle that we made at the very beginning. All right now it's time to tackle the Great Lakes and there's my moose. Do you see the moose? There's his nose and his antlers. So um, it's easiest if you take that 90, I think, and you, um, and you make Lake Superior. And then um, you make Lake Michigan, which also looks kind of like a pickle. Or maybe an eggplant. I don't know, you have to decide. And then, then when you're making Lake Huron, it's easiest if you just make the rest of Michigan's mitten. So, you know, Michigan is shaped like a mitten, so if you just follow it down and make the thumb, then you've got most of Huron already done. See? Now we have our moose. Now the moose has to eat, so he gets two carrots, Lake Erie, and Lake... Ontario. And we can connect these. And then um, it's easy to come up here and go across straight and then pop up like a like a little main saying hello. And then we're gonna again leave that blank. Alright so now to fill in our states. To fill in our states, I like to start with the um, gun boxes, right? So we come over here to um, 105, this is 90, this is 120, this is 15, 30, 45. All right, so we're going to come over and make our gun boxes. We go just a little bit to the right of the 105. So we come down the 105 and then we make whatever we did on this side, we go equal amount down on that side and that makes our box. Now normally I would come straight across here with my pencil and then come correct this later, but since we're doing this in pen so you can see it, I'll just go ahead and put that little blip down on the bottom. So here's our box and we're going to make our gun first because our gun is squashed in the middle of the boxes. So there is Idaho, 
and then we cut this box in half and we have Montana and Wyoming Idaho and then if we cut this box in half we have Washington and Oregon now next I like to do the pizza broomstick so the pizza broomstick is we find our gun and we just go straight down with a little hiccup oop, hiccup like that at the end and then you can make the crust by cutting down that 120 line and then just cutting straight across to the hiccup pretty cool huh and then for the handle of the pizza broomstick that's um, this line that starts here and it just goes all the way now I would again I would make it all the way across but it does take a little detour here and then all the way across so now that we've divided the top from the bottom now we're gonna cut it um, in half this way now do you see that soldier there we're gonna do his back first so he starts in the middle of the 105 and 90 um, so you just find the middle of that square and then you just meander your way all the way down like so so we have the um, we have our United States now kind of cut up into four quarters and we have a lot of this already done so that's pretty cool so coming back over here we make a cross here's our church cross in the middle of the United States that makes the four corners and we have oh we forgot to label California, Nevada, Arizona, Utah, Colorado, New Mexico. Now once you've labeled New Mexico, you come to the bottom here and you cut down, across, and up. There you have New Mexico. Then Colorado sticks out. It's overachiever. It likes to stick out amongst its fellow stack here, so he sticks out a little bit. And we've got him. Now we just need to do our pan and pancakes. So there's a pan and pancakes over here in the United States. And it starts with Oklahoma. There's our pan. And then, um, so we have, now we have Texas and Oklahoma. And then Oklahoma has four pancakes stacked up on top of it. One, two, three, four. And um, they go Kansas, Nebraska, South Dakota, and North Dakota. All right, so now we have the whole West Coast, uh, the whole West of the United States done. Now we just have the, um, the East Coast, which is a little bit harder, but we have fun ways of remembering how to do it. So now we need to get the front of our soldier in. Do you see his nose there and his hat? and his pants and his boots and he's kind of got a big fat belly here so we're going to go off the tip of Lake Superior and we're going to make his hat and then his nose is going to point at the tip of our moose nose it's like nose to nose and then he's going to come back in to line up with that line and then we got to make his big fat belly his big fat belly goes over this um, the broomstick that's his belt kind of and then we've got his boot can't forget his boot at the end all right and then let's divide up his body so we have his boots that's Louisiana his pants are Arkansas his belly is Missouri his face and head is Iowa and his hat is Minnesota all right so now we've got our soldier in after that, um, it's pretty easy. You just go from his nose to nose, and you've got Wisconsin, and you go cut off the mitten, and you've got Michigan, but Michigan has a little extra up here, so you have to cut a line between these two Great Lakes, and that's um, Upper Peninsula, Michigan. All right, so now we've got those out of the way. We're going to go ahead and put Florida in because that's another easy one. It's like... Um, Oklahoma and that it has a panhandle and then sticks down and so once you do that we need something for our soldier our soldiers got to carry a stick and this stick has banners on it so here's our stick 
you just find this line going straight across and then you just make a parallel line underneath it and then it comes down at the end and then we're going to make our banners so our banners are kind of come out in array like that so our banners are Mississippi Alabama Georgia and South Carolina and of course Florida is down here all right and then now that you have this you can fill this in since you now know where that line is all right and then to this is Tennessee and North Carolina and it cuts diagonally through Georgia so like that we have Tennessee and North Carolina next we have the camel and the camel is sitting on top of the stick which is odd because camels are kind of heavy to hold on a stick and who knows why the camel wants to hang out on the stick but it does it's a very weird camel actually there's a queen on this camel so maybe the queen's making the camel do it so we've got our camel humps do you see there are two humps here so the hump is right below um, Lake Erie one of the carrots so that kind of be your eyeball so you're going to make one hump and then whoop back up for another hump and then this is where it gets tricky when you're making the second hump you're going to come meet the top of North Carolina but then you're going to want to go right away and make the tail of the camel which goes like that all right and that's why where I would have to erase my pencil lines and put that in all right so we've got our camel in now we need to get our rusty dusty triplets I call them the rusty dusty triplets because they're in the rust belt of the United States and the rust belt is Illinois Indiana and Ohio they're my rusty dusty triplets one two three Illinois Indiana Ohio so essentially you just take this first camel hump and you cut it down and straight up and then you divide down from the moose nose down from the middle of the mitten and you have Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. Pretty cool, huh? So now that our rusty dusty triplets are in, I like to put Pennsylvania in next. And Pennsylvania is just a box, but it's a little bit sad because it's not allowed to go to the ocean. It's trying to get all the way to the ocean, but it runs into the dancing peanut, and the dancing peanut won't get out of the way or Pennsylvania not allowed to go to the ocean so then I put in the dancing peanut as soon as I get Ohio in then I can get Pennsylvania in and I just block Pennsylvania from reaching the ocean with this dancing peanut so here's Pennsylvania the dancing peanut is New Jersey and then once you have the dancing peanut and Pennsylvania in you can come over here and cut your camel in half poor camel don't actually cut a real camel in half and then we have on this side we have Kentucky and on this side we have Virginia and Virginia gets a little chunk of the tail over there so you can cut off a little bit of the tail for Virginia now every good camel has a queen and in this case the queen is West Virginia and so once you've got Pennsylvania in then you can put Maryland in by cutting a chunk like that to see how it makes a crown um, West Virginia has a three-pointed crown there and she's sitting in the hump of the camel and then so once you do that you've got Maryland here um, this is Maryland the whole tail except that there's a little chunk taken out of it and that is Delaware and this is Maryland all right so now we've got this part taken care of the next part that's easiest to do is to cut straight down for Maine and straight down for New York. So New York, unlike Pennsylvania, New York and Pennsylvania are kind of like brothers that are competing with each other and they, uh, New York actually does get to go to the ocean just barely and then of course we have Long Island and New York City right there. So New York, upstate New York is big and New York City down here is tiny com comparison but it's very happy you can get all the way down here to the ocean Pennsylvania is blocked by the dancing peanuts just not fair and then Maine um, Maine you just cut straight down too and then um, next I like to put in the pistol so you can see this pistol here is Massachusetts 
and so you're going to cut a square across and then you have to kind of make the handle and go in like that. There's our pistol, which is Massachusetts. And then the pistol needs a trigger. The trigger is Rhode Island. And then whatever's left, you just connect the dots and it's Connecticut. All right, so there are our, some of our New England states. And now that you've got the pistol in, the second you get that pistol handle in, yay, we get to connect Maine to the top. And now we have our whole East Coast all in, which isn't really that difficult. You just have to kind of pencil it in and then do the details as you get over there. Now all we have left to do, besides label Maine, is um, go over here and we just, this I call these the ice cream brothers because they look like ice cream cones to me. So you have one ice cream cone and two ice cream cones. They're upside down. One of them's upside down. So the right side up one is Vermont and the upside down one is New Hampshire. And there is the entire United States. That's how you can remember where all the states go.